What is going on, gamers? Your boy PD, and we're back with another video, man. I'm sorry I've been gone for a little bit. It's just that games have been really stale lately, and I really haven't had any motivation to upload because I don't know what to upload because I'm not trying to upload some shitty ass Black Ops 4 gameplay. You feel me? But anyways, I appreciate y'all for being patient with me. I appreciate the support on the first two videos. You guys are literally insane, crazy demons, man. And if you'd like to stay in touch with me, man, you know, follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. That's where I'm 24-7 just straight bullshitting, tweeting about my Washington Redskins, being a depressed Redskins fan, talking about video games, talking about just so much things, so much things. But um, anyways, today's video is my early way too early opinions on call of duty modern warfare as we get this beautiful triple kill man we're and we're not done we're gonna keep going man in the background you're gonna see some call of duty modern warfare beta gameplay me using the ak-47 which in my opinion is the most underrated gun in the beta if you guys want to want to see a video on my class setup on this ak-47 please let me know down in the comment section this gun absolutely shreds it's insane and it's literally the best gun in the game. I'm telling you guys, you might not believe me. At first I thought it was the M13. I've been using the AK-47 all day and I'm just literally clapping cheeks, okay? Let me tell you. <laughs> Whoa. But anyways, we're gonna be doing some way too early opinions on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, man. Because, you know, let's hop in the bandwagon, man. We gotta secure the bag, make videos about MW real quick. You feel me? Whoa, I, I don't know how to whoa. But anyways, let's start off with some pros because we're not going to be some negative Nancys, man. One thing this year that I've noticed that I was kind of worried because in the alpha, it did not feel this way whatsoever. The movement this year is really insane. Like when I say it's insane, the movement in this year's Call of Duty is so smooth. It reminds me of Call of Duty Ghost and I know it's an unpopular opinion. But at this point, it's probably not so unpopular because of how shitty CODs have been lately. Call of Duty Ghost is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. That's literally my bread and butter game. This game feels like Call of Duty Ghost but like times 10 when I'm telling you the movement is so crisp so clean literally you feel like a super soldier but it's modern you know you don't you're not jumping 10 feet in the air but you are moving around you know you are getting you're getting to where you want point A to point B so so efficiently I was about to say stuff suffice I don't efficiently and um you know that's really good because you never want clunky movement because Call of Duty is an arcade shooter you know run and gun type of game so I genuinely enjoy the movement this year you as you see me fucking spinning and shit like you can do crazy shit this year but if uh, you're obviously restricted and limited i don't want to be jumping 10, 20 feet in the air i don't think that's realistic and I, I don't think you guys want that either but being able to slide and run the way you can this year is honestly beautiful man and the second the second pro numero dos weapon custom customization in this game is insane bro literally the weapon customization all the options the gunsmith this year all the different perks you can put uh, perks attachments you can put, put on your guns is literally insane literally i'm pretty sure this is the most customizable call of duty we've ever had in terms of that you can have up to what five six attachments on your gun there's like 10 different sights per gun like five different barrels extended mags two kinds of lightweight like three kinds of foregrip and this is just the beta folks literally when the full game comes out i'm pretty sure there'll be so much more it's kind of insane how crazy the customization this year is in terms of weapons it's literally insane and i love it it's it, you know it's, it's a nice change of pace from our regular you know pick 10 pick 13 whatever pick 10 mostly and uh, another thing i really like about this year and i know this is just you know this is a small thing the graphics this game is beautiful this game the scenery uh, me me especially i don't usually like infinity ward games from gra from a graphic standpoint because i always thought their games were dull and dark and you know if i'm playing a call of duty for you know 30 days playing time out of a year i don't want it to be dark i don't want to stare at something dark because i'll feel i'll start being sad you know i don't know maybe that's just me but this year this game is very beautiful to look at and that is something that i'm forever grateful for you know we're gonna have a year of a vibrant call of duty you know and it's not like it's cartoony at all as you can tell by the gameplay in the background the lighting is beautiful the sun the way it hits the gun all that just insane whoa anyways another thing i wanted to touch on is uh, the ttk the time to kill in this Years Call of Duty is perfect, man. Like I said, I'm a fan of Ghost, so that faster time to kill is literally beautiful. 
for you guys coming from Black Ops 4, it is going to be very frustrating because in Black Ops 4, you know, you can put up to six shots into somebody and they won't die and they just reach them, reach them, go around the corner, 150 health, back at it, sometimes 200 health with the armor. This year, man, the time to kill is insane. It's realistic. You know, you put two, three shots at somebody, they're dead. In my opinion, it makes the good players better and it makes the worst players better better as well because you know they're gonna have to find ways to win those gunfights they're not gonna have that stim shot crutch in my opinion at least so that's one thing that i'm forever grateful for and also the maps okay hear me out i know we only had three maps as of no four maps as of friday september 13th man i know we have four maps they just released another one today i really do enjoy the maps at first i was a big fan of that cave map i'm not gonna lie I feel like I feel like um, the mini map, which is something we're getting into later on in the video, really hinders the uh, like hinders the maps in terms of flow. But the way the maps are designed, the three lanes, I really do enjoy it. I feel like you know, if they add a mini map, like I said, we'll talk about that later. It will make this game these maps ten times better. The maps are beautiful. They're they're spacious. The lines of there's plenty lines of sights. There's plenty close quarters. There's plenty of of long lines of sights you can do anything and you can do everything in these maps smgs thrive ars thrive it's it's honestly insane the last thing i want to touch on is weapon variety man i feel like you can use any gun you want and make it make it a you can make a god class out of basically any gun you want i know the beta only has three ars and two smgs as of today friday 13th but you can use all five of those guns and not feel like you're being held back because of how good the guns are in this game, man. This year's Call of Duty, I feel like you'll see a variety of guns in competitive. And I really love that because, you know, we don't want, like, years past, like, for example, Black Ops 3, just the VMPs, Advanced Warfare, BAL-27, and the ASM-1s. We do not want that, man. Variety is key. Variety is fun for different play styles. And that is one thing I really love. Let's get into the cons now, man. I, I don't want to drag on this video too long, but my cons list isn't, isn't too bad. My number one biggest pet peeve, and I'm sure 99% of the Call of Duty community agrees with me on this one. No mini maps, man. What the fuck, Infinity Ward, Activision? What are you doing, buddy? Whoa! But no mini maps really affects the t the maps in terms of flow because everyone's just running like a chicken with their head cut off. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know where they're going. I feel like when there's no mini map, it ruins the flow of the map. It encourages camping. And it's just, it's no good for anybody, you know? I feel like the minimap has been in Call of Duty for, what, 13 years now? It's a staple. It should stay. Please bring it back. Activision, if you're listening to me, please, I'll date you. And second, goes hand in hand with the minimap. I feel like this year, camping is encouraged, man. The minimap, terrible. Camping, because there's no minimap, is just at an all-time high. Please, we need the minimap. The kill feed also is very weird. It lasts a long time. And I think that it... It's too transparent. Fix the kill feed. That's a small thing. But for my snipers, you understand. The last thing that I want to get into. I'm sorry that I'm rushing the video. The last thing that I want to get into is sniping. Sniping is clunky. Sniping feels slow. I don't know what they're going to do about it. I'm in a team called Northern Forces over on Twitter. You should drop them a follow. We have a sniping side. I don't know how sniping is going to be this year. I don't know how good sniping is going to be for Modern Warfare. I don't know if it's going to be what the standards are going to be. Maybe they'll be lower. Maybe they'll be higher because the kill feed lasts longer. But it's just so clunky and slow. Activision, please help our snipers out, man. They're already at a disadvantage with the one-shot gun. I feel like just giving them a faster ADS would be forever helpful for them because, you know, they need to hit them clips. But anyways, that's it for me, people. As you see, the Beast gameplay, me going 35 and 13, a quick little gameplay. You know how we're coming. You know how we rock. If you liked and enjoyed the video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell. I don't know what the bell does, but I see big YouTubers say, hit the bell. So hit the bell, man. And if you do not like the video, please let me know why. Let me know what I can improve on. And drop a dislike if you if you hate me, I guess. But if you love me, drop a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. My name is PD, and this is my way too early first impressions on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm sorry once again for the lack of uploads. But remember, remember, you're a beautiful person, and beautiful people deserve beautiful things. So I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.